Welcome to the next tutorial in our Photoshop series. We're going to go over a way to create a quick Lomography effect. And a Lomography effect is a type of effect that you might see on Instagram photos or other types of photos that make it look kind of a hipster-like or retro look. Now, it's very easy to create this look. It's, it's actually extremely fast to create this look in Photoshop. Uh, all you have to do is open up a photo. You can see, for example, I have a photo right here. Uh, you want to go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, and Curves. And we're going to make a new Curves Layer here. Now I'm going to make the Curves Layer called the Lomography Effect, which we'll go ahead and type that in. And you can see we've got a nice little layer that goes over our background. It also has its own layer, so that way we won't have to worry about making the effect on the image and not having it affect the image permanently. So the way we start this effect is we go through and check out the curves. We've got the histogram here, and we want to start out by actually putting a point here and dragging it down a little bit, which you see will actually drag down some of the shadows in the image. And then you want to put a little point up here and drag that one up, which will actually drag in some more of the light into the image. Then we'll go into the red, and we'll actually put a little point there, drag that down a little bit so we can get some more in there. But we actually want to drag the shadows up a little bit so we can get some more darkness depth to the image. We also want to drag up the end here as well and go to the green and do the same thing. Drag up a little bit there, drag down a little bit at the top. And then when we get to the blue, we'll actually do this a little bit different. We actually want to drag up on the previous one and we actually want to drag down at the top here which will actually add a lot of different blues to the image there. So if we go back to the original RGB, we can actually pull up the, uh, the shadows a bit because we want to create that kind of soft tone in the shadows as well. And by doing that, that allows us to create a great Lomography effect. It's actually kind of overdone here. It's a little bit too much on the image. So if we go to the opacity, I mean, they turn the opacity down to maybe about like 50, 55. You can see that it has put itself over the image and you can see a nice effect on your image that gives it kind of a hipster or retro look. And you can turn on and off the layer to see the difference in the image as we put the Lomo effect on. And that's pretty much it for this tutorial.